I was there. The night of the attack? You were at the house? Yes, and it was horrible. But so was he. Hello, hello, hello. Assalamualaikum, guys. Welcome back to Interrogation Files Port Lansing. Last episode, Natalie and Caleb admit that they were there at the time of the incident. And surprisingly, Colton, Colton was there too. Okay, folks, let's continue this. Let's try glitch. Strange day. Strange couple of days. Yeah. Can't say I've worked many cases like this one. Yeah. It's not making it any easier with the techno problems we're having. The equipment being on the fridge? Yeah. It's like, I just wish one thing would go at least right on this case. Things are going all right. Yeah, I guess. You think these electrical problems are normal? What do you mean? I mean, it's just kind of odd that they didn't happen before. <laughs> yeah, I think it's more of a case of the weather we've been having this week, but I agree. All this stuff's been happening since we picked up that Caleb guy. We know what he gets up to. Yeah, but he seems in a daze too. Definitely what he's saying isn't too reliable. But I hope that everything we've recorded is okay. We can go over the footage. Sure. Let's make a point to do that. See? There it goes again. Who knows what the spotty powers cause our electrical systems to do. Could have the occasional tech issue. Like a glitch? If the recording's too messed up, we can still talk to them while they're here. Or we can bring them in again. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Let's work with what we have now, though. We can look at the tape later. I'm sure it's fine. Glitches can be pretty weird, too. Yeah. You ever slow glitch down in a video? Most of the time, it's nothing. But every once in a while... Every once in a while? It messes with your head. Can't say I've had that experience. More electrical problem after the incident. Let's try arting science. We've mentioned this in the last episode. I know what you're wondering. If it's really possible. I'm... a medium, among other things. A medium? I don't remember ever hearing you offering to tell people's fortunes. Or do you need to read lifelines in people's hands? No, not that. I can offer a different type of service. I've only just begun, very recently. But it's the earthing seance. Care for a demonstration, then? Talk to my dead relatives through you? No thanks, I'm good. A real seance? Sure. <laughs> so what goes on in one of these, uh, uh, what do you call it? Earthing seance. We could find out some interesting things, perhaps. Shall we try it then? Go, yeah. Your choice, officers. Let's watch it! We'll need to turn the lights down low. Uh, I don't know. We need a single central light source. Oh, and uh, tell me what you want to know. Will my phone work? What did my ex-wife do with all my money? Place your hands on the table. Tell us who killed them, the students. I'll contact them. Look down into the light. Ugh, it's pretty bright. Look at the table then. Look through the table. Try to see the floor. The layers directly below the floor. Each one below it. Past the floor. Keep going. Past each layer of the building. You're at the ground. What do you see? Can you go further down? Beyond? Further. 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 It's dark and cold. Keep going. Down. Down. 
down to the center. We're almost there. Darker and darker. Further. And we're there. They're here now, too. We've come for knowledge. The knowledge of who extinguished the spirits in the mortal realm of Emily Thomas. Brian Watson, Gregory Sims, and Alana Morgan. Speak to me as I am one. We ask of you what is asked before us. Guide me to the light and through the truth. Guide me to the light and through the truth. Guide me. I await your guidance. Whoa, okay, uh, okay. Can someone flip the lights for us? Never mind, I'll find them. There's evil in here. Whoa! That was fun, but spooked the officer. <laughs> Another message. That was fun. Spooky. Like a real life horror movie. Okay. So we did your song and dance, now what did the ghosts tell you? Demons, right? I sensed there was an evil nearby, not demons necessarily. How close, I can't be certain. What exactly it was, I don't know. That could mean it or they were in the room. Or the building or somewhere else. I'm not that experienced with the process. Well, it would have been nice to learn some names. Still, this will make some nice footage come to court time. Is this even admissible in court? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I'm new to this. Right. There was something blocking me. Something stopping it all. Too bad. But right before I was cut off, I saw two faces. Officer Colton and the girl. They were whispering together in a police car before the events that night. She warned him about what was going to happen. She was asking to be rescued. That she couldn't know if her plan to hurt the others was going to work. To be pulled from the circle. And then three other faces there that night. A mirror all gaining extraordinary power. Wow. That's real. That's what you saw? I I'm sorry, Lynn. I feel lightheaded. I have some water. That's one explanation, I suppose. Or maybe their ghosts are just saying, yeah, Ruth. Who knows? Whoa. Carlson and Heather. And three other faces. Natalie, Caleb, and Ruth. I assume that. They are all guilty. It's the same as the hacker said. Message. Yeah. They confuse. Let's try hospital. Surprised you're doing so well for everything that happened two nights ago. Glad you're recovering so well. Even the doctors are really surprised at how fast your recovery has been. Yeah, I must have a good metabolism. Critical condition one day, out of the hospital the next. We're so lucky that you survived. It's really a miracle. You're going to stay in the hospital back in the city, right? To get away from town and recover at home? Yeah, I don't really feel good at all. Well, take it easy. You've been through a lot. Hatta got the fast recovery 
like Ruth also, the wound in the in her finger. Let's try patrol. My day yesterday was pretty routine. I checked in here at my normal time, looked over some emails and reports, and then took out the patrol car. Probably around 11. Got out on the road like normal. Drugstore called in some vandalism, which I confirmed. Miss Hopkins reported her cat missing again, which turned out to be behind her house. And then I spent some time trying to catch speeders coming in town. Catch any? Nah, slow day. Anything else? Nope, that was pretty much it. Hmm, nothing important. Let's try Jeffrey. Yes, I've known him a long time. Not personally, per se. But he's known here around town. People are wary of him, but that serves the purpose that's needed. Yeah, definitely. He's a good man. I was a cadet with him when I started. Ah, yes, nearby. Funny how lifelong connections are formed at that stage. And how do you know that? I'm not sure where I gained that knowledge. From my past in town or somewhere else. You know you're under oath. And I'm telling the truth. But yes, he has a purpose. Dissuasion and such. I support his efforts, no doubt. There are a lot of ways to get people to task, however. Let's try Gloof. My gloves? Yeah, they're my gloves. I guess I like wearing them in the winter. And they're handy to have around. Planning on wearing them a lot more in the future, so get used to them. Not much else to tell, really. I do get made fun of by the guys sometimes. Well, they look warm. Yeah, really. Really warm. They get the job done. Let's try Lenson. I was born and raised here. I love my town. We've got a lot of hard-working people out here. We got the retirement population and the vacationers, mostly. I became a cadet nearby while in college. Met some fine folks here, and now I'm pushing retirement. Honestly, I don't know when I'll pull the trigger on actually retiring, though. I stay active, and I'm proud of the work I've done here. Shame about some of the decisions the city has implemented, of course. They kind of let anything fly. Hell, we have a witchcraft store on Main. Excuse me, spiritual shop. No idea how a store like that stays in business. Attracts all sorts. Anyway, I like to think the force keeps a good watch over everything and keeps things in check, you know. Next. I remember what it was like growing up here. Sure. Imagine tree-lined streets, neighbors helping one another, town get-togethers, all of the time downtown. Trips to the waterfront with the family, just a really special place to grow up, actually. Really happy people, and some of my fondest memories are from that time. We still have that to some degree, but it's different now. The internet, insularity, the world's become a bit more of a colder place. You can find the warmer pockets, though. We have to stay vigilant, watch out for unwanted elements, keep things nice. There's evil here. It's just hidden. But it's obviously here. Look at this last night. There goes his motivation again. And her knees, of course. Evidence. A postcard of Port Lanson. Hmm, oh, interesting. Okay, folks, that's it for the day. Hope to see you on my next video. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum.